My name is Addie Loretta Houston Smith. I started working for Bethlehem Steel Spurs Point in 1974. I was hired as a laborer and I was hired in the pipe mill. And in the pipe mill we had jobs like grinders, hookers, and it was funny because when I had to, when I first got laid off on my my first experience with unemployment, I had to tell them the type of job that I work. And I said, Well, I was a hooker, you know. And the lady was, You were what? <laughs> At Bethlehem Steel. <laughs> you know, and I says, Oh, let me explain the job to you. Um, I was a crane follower. And I hooked up these long cables, and I would pick them up and hook it up to the cranes. And that was what a hooker did, you know. And I made a lot of money doing that, so I didn't leave. As I went on, I became involved in the union. Um, I became a union official. I was um, the chairperson for Women of Steel. There was discrimination against women. And a lot of times I felt like I was discriminated against and that, and I was not a quiet person about it. It got me in a lot of trouble lots of times because I wanted something done, you know, and I would talk about the issues that involved myself and a lot of other women. And it was very difficult, you know. We talked about racism. We talked about, um, we fellowshiped a lot in the bathroom through tears, you know, to keep each other strong and there were a lot of problems, but we would resolve them. It wasn't really a bad place to work, <laughs> you know, because, you know, we had our issues too, you know, and we were women and it was something new for the men when we first got hired, you know, they had to get used to us working in the mills. And being a woman, I was gonna have it my way. <laughs> it was my way or no way. <laughs> I um had a babysitting problem and my foreman had me come in one night. I had to open the mill. I had to turn the lights on to do my job. And during this time, I didn't have a babysitter. I didn't know what to do with my child. And like I said before, a lot of us had problems with our children. Where were we going to leave them, you know? And this was on 11 and 7. So I looked at my daughter. She was two. I grabbed her little pillow and she had on her little pajamas and I drove to Bethlehem Steel and I carried her up the ladder with me into my crane and there she stayed, she slept with her bottle and I, until I completed the end of my shift. Even then I get teary eyed because you work with these people all your life and then all of a sudden it's all over with, you know. And um, sometimes, and, you know, we, we might not remember each other's names when you see someone in the street, but you'll go, you worked at Bethlehem Steel. And, 